Another day, another episode of Will It Latte. Today, we're doing a cereal near and dear to my heart, Fruity Pebbles. If you'll observe this box here, I got the ones with marshmallows because after this, I will be eating it for my daily breakfast, uh, and I like the marshmallows. So, this is going to be fairly similar to a traditional cereal milk latte, but I'm going to put my own twist on it. Um, that said, pretty high expectations for this latte, but not groundbreaking. Early prediction, B+. Plus. Fruity Pebble Latte, let's get into it. So, my thinking with the Fruity Pebbles is that I'm going to double down and use the Fruity Pebbles in both my milk and my syrups. Small pot, sugar, hot water, the herbs, and a good amount of Fruity Pebbles. And I'm going to infuse all of that together to form a Fruity Pebble syrup. And then I'm going to strain that and set it to the side. Mm, it kind of has the color of a swamp. Not exactly the color I would like to put on my walls, much less ingest, but again, I'm trusting in the flavor of the Fruity Pebbles over the look of the syrup right now. So it's time to make our infused Fruity Pebble milk. No added flavor this time, just good old Fruity Pebbles and milk, just like you would eat at home. Put that in our trusty Vitamix, take it up to high, and then we go ahead and pass that through our fine mesh strainer. That is Fruity Pebble Milk. I go ahead and steam the Fruity Pebble Latte. It has a nice smooth texture to it and I can already tell that this milk is looking really nice. With the milk steam, time to assemble our beverage in full. So syrup goes in the bottom of the mug, followed by our double shot of espresso, a little stirry stir, and then our Fruity Pebble Milk. Cover it up with my garnish, which is going to be crushed up freeze-dried strawberries today, as well as a little bit of crushed up Fruity Pebbles. I'm really digging all the colors of the rainbow on this drink. So far, so good. It's very, very pretty. The milk steamed beautifully, like a pretty standard milk steam, so that's always encouraging. Um, it sits nicely on top of the microphone. The milk and the syrup, I'll be honest, those green fruity pebbles kind of got mixed in there. Didn't look the most appetizing, if I'm being truthful, but the smell, smells were divine. So, all that said, let's see where we landed. Smell check. I mean, the, the fruity pebbles are like cheating. I would have a candle with Fruity Pebble scent. Like if anybody knows where I can find and or make a Fruity Pebble scented candle, please DM me, I will pay you for such secret knowledge. Love the smell of Fruity Pebbles. Taste. It's good. It's really good. I think I'm gonna give myself the loss and I think it is slightly above where I expected it to land. So I'm gonna give it the A minus, but it's like one of those like 90, 91 type of A minuses. Like it's like real close to being a B, but it, it's like, again, I, I go through phases where sometimes I like super sweet drinks. Sometimes, you know, I'm like black pour over coffee drinker. I have, you know, I'm diverse. I have a range of coffees that I enjoy. If I was in the mode for, mood for something sweet, but not like sickeningly sweet, this would do the trick. Um, the coffee still shows up surprisingly well, uh, believe it or not. Like, you know, the strawberry, the freeze-dried strawberries are nice. The fruity pebble is there. It's, it's like, it's a very general sweetness. You know, the herbs uh, do help give it some depth. Um, but that's enough of my rambling. Final grade, A minus. Will it latte? Yes, it will. Fruity pebble latte, A minus. That's it. Until next time. See ya. Subscribe, like, and comment what you would like to see next on Cafe with Q.